in the book doom the politics of catastrophe your newest book you describe wars pandemics and the terrible disasters in human history which stands out to you as the worst in terms of how much it shook the world and the human spirit i am glad i was not around in the mid 14th century when the bubonic plague swept across eurasia as far as we can see that was history's worst pandemic maybe there was a comparably bad one in the reign of the emperor uh, justinian but there's some reason to think it wasn't as bad and the more we learn about uh the 14th century the more we realize that it really was across eurasia and the the, the mortality was 30% in some places 50% in some places higher, there were whole towns that were just emptied. And when one reads about the Black Death, it's an unimaginable nightmare of, of death and madness in the death with flagellant orders wandering from town to town, seeking to ward off divine retribution by flogging themselves, uh, people turning on the local Jewish communities as if it's somehow their fault. That must have been a nightmarish time. If you ask me for an, a an also ran a runner up, it would be it would be World War II uh, in Eastern Europe, and in many ways, it might have been worse because for a medieval peasant, the sense of being on the wrong side of divine retribution must have been overpowering. In the mid twentieth century you knew that this was man-made murder on a massive industrial scale. If one, le if one reads Brosman's Life and Fate, just to take one example, one enters a, a hellscape that it's extremely hard to imagine oneself in. So these are two of the great disasters of, of human history. And if we did have a time machine, if one really were able to transport people back and and give them a glimpse of these times, I think the post-traumatic stress would be enormous. People would come back from those those trips, even if it was a one-day excursion with guaranteed survival, uh, in a state of, of utter shock.